in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent, may mercy, peace, and blessings of Almighty Allah be upon all of you. Welcome you all in this our lecture series program, and we are going to talk about morphology, morpheme, and allomorph. This is our, our lecture 14. This topic is from the contents and introduction to linguistics semester one. This topic is very important for the students of MA English and BS English. Um, moreover, this is very crucial for the aspirants of lectureship in English. So let's talk about our today's topic and that is morphology, morpheme and allomorph and their differences. Here when we are talking about morphology, morphology in a very simple word this is a study of words. Study of words is called morphology. It is derived from the Greek word morph meaning form and logos meaning word. So this word is taken from morph and logos from two words. Those are meaning as form and word. Here we are going to talk about its definition. Thus, it is the study of morphemes our word forms and structure. So already we talked about morphology as a study of words. So it is the study of morphemes, our word forms and their structures. Thus the English word unfriendly is formed from friend by adding prefix un and suffix ly. So this word is actually uh, uh, could be subdivided into uh, three different parts a stem word friend, prefix un and suffix ly. So this is study in a language is called morphology. Now we are going to talk about morpheme. It is the smallest meaningful unit in a language. So morpheme is actually the smallest meaningful unit in a very simple and terse way. For instance, the English word kind is a morpheme. If the D is removed, it changes to kin, which has a different meaning. So these are actually two different morphemes, kin and kind. Some words consist of one morpheme, kind. Others are more than one. For example, the English word unkindness consists of three morphemes. The stem kind, the negative prefix un and the noun forming suffix n e double s ness. So these three parts individually are called morphemes. So there are other words as well in a language which could be subdivided or uh, there could have been their study. For example, the word is unhappiness. So this word unhappiness could be divided into prefix un happy the stem word and ness as suffix or for example the word is unfriendly so the word unfriendly again could be subdivided into three parts un as prefix friend as stem word and ly as suffix so this is study in a linguistics is called morpheme again here we are going to talk about word and morpheme Word as word is the single unit of language, which means something and can be spoken or written. So word is a single unit of language. However, morpheme, these are minimal units that cannot be further subdivided into meaningful units. So morphemes cannot be uh, subdivided uh, that are the minimal units. However, words are the single unit. For example, the word unlikely. Now the word unlikely can be further subdivided into three morphemes. And that is prefix un, stem word like and pre suffix and that is ly. For example, the word is carpet and the word can be subdivided into two different morphemes. Car is having different meaning and pet. 
so carpet is actually a word but uh, subdivided parts the minimal units car and pet are the morphemes so this is actually the difference between word and morpheme now we are going to talk about allomorph in other words it is an alternative pronunciation of a morpheme in a particular context now see words um, it is an alternative pronunciation alternative pronunciation of the same morpheme is called allomorph for example there are variations in the pronunciations of these forms for example the word is cats the word is kicks the word is boxes now you see um, the s in cats and s in kicks and s in boxes now these uh, different words are we could say this morpheme s having different pronunciation are alternative pronunciations in different words so this difference is actually called the um, allomorph these are allomorphs of the same morpheme they have different sounds but have the same meaning of more than one so this is all about the allomorph allomorphs are the uh, variations in pronunciations of the same morpheme is called allomorphs so um, here are key points discussed today in our topic that is morphology we learned about morphology and at the second we learned about morpheme and word and allomorph what are allomorph so we defined uh, today in our lecture these three terms in a very simple way uh, this was a very shorter lecture as well thanks for attention thank you very much hopefully this would have been a very helping um, lecture for all of you assalamu alaikum